Would you like to know how to create quick and easy wavy fur? I'm going to show you a way where there's no need for curling tongs, making plaits or winding wool over knitting needles and waiting hours for it to dry, or even buying curly wool. In fact, you just need the wool that you have, your barbed needle and your fingers. So here's the Springer Spaniel that I've made so far. He's got one ear all lovely and wavy and curly. People often say, well, how on earth did you make that? So this is what I want to show you. Now, there is one way with my hair where I teased out little bits of the fur with my fingers. I use a little bit of wax as well to create that textured tussle look. But I'm going to take it a step further with the spaniel ears and make really defined curly waves. They're quick and easy, but they're really effective. Now I've already done the underside to the ear that we're going to do today. I usually do the underside to my ears first. It's the bit that you won't see. So if you're doing the top and the wool pokes through to the underside, it really doesn't matter so much. So we're going to be adding the wavy fur here. I'm going to pin the ear in place. <laughs> it looks like I'm being very cruel to this poor dog, but it just keeps it there while we do the wavy fur. This is the wool that I have been using. It's a mix of kind of a dark merino brown with a kind of ready tinge. And I'm, first of all, you'll see on the other ear that there are areas that are dark in between the lighter highlights. And I want to give this effect so that it's as realistic as possible. So I'm going to be placing pieces of my wool with a long fur technique. I'll add layers of this darker wool and then the lighter curls will go on top. I'll put a link now as well to a more detailed version of the long fur technique. But basically, I am just stabbing along the centre line of my piece of wool to fix it in place and then turning over the top and then going over it just so it's in place. It doesn't matter too much about these being really neat and tidy. These are the layers that are going to go as a base and the curls will go over the top. I'll speed this little bit up, but you can see that I'm laying the lengths along the bottom row of the ear and then going to the next row, overlapping the first. Now to create his beautiful locks of golden wavy fur, I'm going to use some of this darker colour and then add some lovely kind of yellow tones into it. So here's the yellowy golden merino top that I'm going to use. It's quite bright, but once it's mixed in, it's more subtle. And when I get to the top of the ear, I want it to be even more golden, nice thick golden locks. First then, I will show you a bit of hand blending. I'm going to take some of the darker wool, just split it along the middle in two little piles and then taking some of the golden wool. I really ideally want this to be two parts darker wool and one part golden wool. To blend the colours together, I'm just splitting down the middle, turning it the other way and then very carefully pulling away with my fingers and thumb and then stacking over and pulling away again stack over and pull away each time. If there's a bit like this where you've got too much of the golden, you can just split it down the middle and keep going until I get the colour that I'd like. I'll continue in fast mode, but I think you get the idea. Next, let's do the twist. Taking a fairly thin strand of your piece of wool, take with your fingers and simply twist it. Keep pulling and twisting. As you let go slightly, you'll see that it keeps its twist. Now we're going to be stabbing it into a wave shape. 
placing the centre of your strand onto the ear. You'll then take your needle and then stab it into place. If it loses some of its twist, you can twist it again. Then let it spring back into a curl and stab that little curl into place. You can stab it into as tight a wave as you like or as loose as you like. I just randomly go with the flow and it just looks really natural that way. So you can see the highlights with the deep tones underneath. I'll do a few of these just so that you get the idea. Again, twisting with my fingers. Ooh, that one sprung into a curl way better than the first. <laughs> you could create waves like this on a number of animals. Now, if you wanted the curls to hang on like, say, a very long coated curly dog breed, then you would need to get the proper curls either by making them or by buying the curly wool. But for this kind of project where you just want the tight waves to be laying against the skin and not actually hanging down, then this is a perfect method to do this very simply. And I find it so much fun to do as well. I'm adding these kind of on the bottom row, but not fully in a straight line. I want them to look quite kind of random and irregular. But when I have done this kind of row, I will go up one to the next row so that they overlap as much as possible. I'll speed my progress up again for you. While I'm doing this, I just thought I'd ask you a question. What animal are you going to add wavy fur to? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I'm continuing to add the waves towards the top of the ear. I'll give him some relief from these pins while I do the top area now. And his ear is very attached to my earth mat, so I need to be very careful pulling it away. And let's take a little look. Oh, he's looking quite sweet so far with his curls, isn't he? Just like with the other ear, I'm going to use thicker strands and more of the golden, and I'm not going to be putting the under layer of the brown. I'll continue in super speed mode. Looking at the ear, I realise that I just need to add a little curl down the edge here as well. So in the final stages, I just want to give a little trim to the ear using my scissors, uh, matching the ears, make sure they're roughly the same. If you'd like some recommendations for where to source some lovely wool and needles and also these rose gold scissors, I will put the links in the description below. So I think we've just about finished with the ear, but what I like to do is just go back and take a little look to see whether there's any areas that I could go over again to define the curls a bit better. Neat and tidy any areas that need it. I'm making sure to stab in the little dark valleys between the golden locks to accentuate the waves and curls that you've made and also make the two tones really pop out. And of course, to secure any strands that you may have left like I did there.
And there we go. I hope you like him and you love his lovely wavy curls. I hope you have so much fun too making the waves on your animal. In my next video I'll show you exactly how I made his eyes.